just not be too You obvious. still need to pr the so-called prison in Riften leaks like one of their fish nets. This is what happens when you let thieves run your town. The prisoners just walk right out. One of them's escaped. At this point, they don't care what ha Be careful. This woman is known to be dangerous. Until next time. Hey everybody, I'm Play for the Five here. Welcome to more of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Last time we completed the crypt and we got a piece of Uthrod. We found we also became a main part of the fucking circle and the companions, which is nice. There is an escaped criminal wandering the rift. I'm supposed to track him down and kill him. Okay, here's something that's fucking stupid. This guy, Skewer, that just gave me this quest, said specifically that he didn't care what happened to her. Meaning the criminal was a female. Yet the quest itself is telling me, and the main game itself is telling me, it's a fucking dude. So... Either Skewer knows very little about women, or someone fucked up in the fucking message, because, yeah, it's fucking stupid. Anyway, la yeah, off screen, I decided to went over, over to the College of Winterhold, and I trained a little, quite a bit more than I actually planned to. Yeah, so I'm level 21 now. To give you a little hat. Oh, Perhaps, I swear to god, if it weren't for the fact that I don't have sh other shit that I can use. Anyway, currently I'm level 52 in Conjuration and level 44 in Restoration. Perks I picked up off screen where healing spells also restore stamina, which is why I have it level 44. I train it that way. And magic regenerates 25% faster. Next, in Conjuration. I simply picked up Adept Conjuration, and I picked up two new spells from Finnis, the Master Conjuration, the Master Conjurer Teacher, in the College of Winterhold. After you reach level 45, you can buy Adept spells from that school of magic from the teacher that teaches it. So, yeah, in my case, level 45 plus in Conjuration, I can now buy Conjuration spells of Adept level. I bought two spells. The first was the Conjurer Achenok spell. And second is the Bound Bow. I'm not going to show the Bound Bow just yet. But. Oh. Uh. A dragon, really? A fucking dragon. Uh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get I'm going to get to show the fucking bow after all. If the game would stop lagging. Yeah, the criminal's like... I'm gonna attack me, bro. And... Okay, so... In an earlier recording, that went wrong because the game would not stop lagging. That guy had, like, an insane amount of HP. Like, my bow... My bound bow dealt no fucking damage. Can I loot him? Wow, you ain't got shit. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Okay, so what's so special about the bound bow, you might ask? Well, for starters, it's a bound weapon, meaning it's weightless. The th second thing is basically, like all the other bound weapons with Mystic Binding, it has the same damage as a Daedric Bow, but here's the best part. This thing, every time you recast it, you're equipping a hundred bound arrows. And bound arrows have a base damage of 24, which is the same as Daedric arrows. And these replenish to 100 every time you recast the spell. So basically, to break it down to you, you have a Daedric Bow with infinite Daedric arrows that weighs nothing and levels up Conjuration and Archery at the same time. I am freezing and lagging a lot here. I kind of had to try and do a little bit of an emergency upload, but yeah. You want to get an idea of how powerful this bow is? Let me just show you. 51 damage. 51 damage. That's the damage of this thing. 
And let me tell you, I have only like level 20 something in archery. Barely used it. Yeah, level 25 in archery. I have no skip perks. So yeah, basically it's freaking powerful. And again, no, you have infinite ammunition for this thing. So it's freaking dope. The metal alien magic cost me slightly painful. If this would fucking work, that would be nice. You keep your distance with that magic. Yeah, the frames are not happy. I just I think I'm just gonna kill this thing and then I'm just gonna go back to the companions during the quest and I'll just end the video because this this lag is not good at all. And yeah. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face god the down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. If you're looking on the compass right here, you can see there's a standing stone in that direction. Uh, if you're wondering, that standing stone is the shadow stone, which gives you a power that lets you turn invisible for 60 seconds once a day. If you're playing as a stealth character, it might be a really decent idea then? to consider picking it up, but eh, everyone to their own. Uh, by the way, in the Companions' quest line, you have to just do a random mission. It doesn't matter what it is, just talk to one of them and say I'm looking for work like I just did it doesn't matter what mission you have to you do you just have to do one of them after you've joined the circle and you know turned in the previous mission I played a lot of Borderlands so I'm using the turn in blah 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 by the way uh yeah so basically I like the bound bow a lot it's my favorite bow it has really really good damage infinite ammunition so I don't have to worry about using fancy arrow either using fancy arrows that are really powerful but I'm gonna lose them forever because you don't really get very good amounts of arrows back when you kill enemies which is really frustrating or I can use a shit ton of iron and steel arrows that do practically no damage and take a million years to kill anything doesn't matter as much on lower difficulties but on master difficulty i consider the bound bow a necessity for an archery class that's a, just me though i'm in conjuration anyway so why the fuck not it's a I solid bow to the warriors at your Vasco for as long as i can remember you still need to prove yourself well bit by bit we bring honor to this land and you've brought honor to the companions. More importantly, some gold. <sighs> yes, I have something special for you. But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. We will speak more. Yeah. So, just ask that. They're going to tell you Skewer wanted to see you, and here you are. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's the priest. The other one shut the fuck up. Anyway, this has been pretty fucking painful. Next time on the Yellow Scrolls 5 Skyrim. We're going to hopefully have less lag. And we're going to meet Skewer in the Underforge. See you guys then.